So we know how to solve multi-step equations. We know how to solve and graph inequalities. So we got all the steps that we need to solve multi-step inequalities. So get your name, date, title. Here we go. Notes you need to take down. Number one, we still follow a meg to solve multi-step inequalities, just like multi-step equations, because a meg is telling us how to undo what's been done to isolate a variable. That's exactly what we want to do. Follow the opposite of the order of operations to undo what's been done. Two, we can still multiply away undesirable denominators. So if you have a denominator that you don't like, just multiply both sides by that number. We just are undoing the division that the denominator signifies by multiplying. Just make sure that you distribute. So if we're going to divide, we're trying to undo division by 4 on a whole side, we need to multiply both sides entirely by 4. And if you multiply a whole side by 4, you need to make sure each term gets multiplied by 4. Last one is, but, the only difference between equations and inequalities, we still need to be sure to flip the inequality sign when multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Let's see it in action. Number one, j times the quantity of, or ooh, 7 times the quantity of j minus 12 is less than negative 77. I'm going to start by drawing the scales of injustice. And I'm going to think to myself, hmm, who will tell me how to undo multiplication and subtraction? A meg. And a meg says it's important that this is a quantity. Order of operations would do it first, so we need to undo that last. We'll actually undo multiplication by dividing se by 7 on both sides before we undo subtraction because it's grouped. Now, we are dividing negative 77 by 7. And although there is division involving a negative, we're not dividing both sides by a negative. So the sign doesn't flip. We just get negative 11. Finally, we need to undo minus 12 by adding 12 to both sides. And negative 11 plus 12 is going to give us, we have more positives than negatives, but they're different signs. So they cancel out. J is equal to 1. Or, oh, no. J is less than 1. Make sure you don't tell me J is equal to 1. So we'll draw our number line, and we'll say we're focused on the number 1. What comes before 1? 0. What comes after 1? 2. Could J be 1? J cannot be 1. So we'll leave that open, show you that it's not shaded, because we only shade what could be true. What well, values could be J and make it true? J could be anything less than 1. Let's plug in 0. 0 minus 12 is negative 12. Negative 12 times 7 is negative 84. Great, we're all good. Let's look at number 2. Negative 9 fourths minus m over 2 is less than or equal to 21 fourths. Wow, I don't like this at all. But I do know that I can cancel out denominators by multiplying by them. So let's multiply both sides after we draw the scales of injustice. Let's multiply all these sides times 4. If we multiply this side times 4, those denominators cancel out. We just have 21. If I multiply this side times 4, I need to, negative 4 would be an even better option, but we can talk about why later. 4 and that 4, so we'll distribute this, and it'll cancel out that denominator. And we'll have negative 9 minus it would be 4m over 2. We can simplify that. The 4 and the 2 simplify, so we just have minus 2m. So we have negative 9 minus 2m is less than or equal to 21. I'll add 9 to both sides. A make tells me to undo addition and subtraction if there's no grouping symbols before multiplication and division. That's how I cancel out negative, negative 9 is with positive 9. And we have that negative 2m. This is important. You need to see that this is negative 2m. A lot of people will ignore that minus sign and they'll just bring down 2m. We don't have 2m. We have subtraction of 2m or we have negative 2m. So we need to bring down negative 2m. Final step is going to be to divide both sides by negative 2. And when we're dividing both sides by a negative, the sign flips. So m could be greater than or equal to negative 15. So let's plot this bad boy real quick before I send you on your way. Negative 15, we are on the opposite side of the number line, so things get a little bit wonky. What's closer to 0? Negative 14. 
and further from 0 or more negative would be negative 16. Now, could m be negative 15? Yes, it could. We do have a greater than or equal to sign. And greater than is always to the right. So these are all the values that m could be. So there we go. Do your best on the practice problems that I leave you with. Use these examples to help you out, and you will do wonderfully. And here you go. First one, 72 plus negative 3m is greater than or equal to 180. Solve it and graph it. And number two, k over 3 plus 2 thirds is greater than or equal to 17 thirds. Make sure you distribute. Best of luck. See you later.